I bet that a lot of people here have experienced nostalgia for victory, or conversely, the bitterness of being a loser. But have you ever felt like the person who always comes in second place? It's not that bad, but always standing in the shadow of others? Hi, I'm Mylan, and I'm supposedly a lower quality replica of my brother Clark. You want to know how I got out of my brother's shadow? Please like and subscribe now. My day started by waking up, showering, and mentally preparing to hear my mom complain about everything. Why are you so slow? By the time you walked into the kitchen, your brother had already eaten half of his breakfast. That's why you are always late for school. I looked at my plate and Clark's, realizing that half of his breakfast was as much as all of mine. Mom, don't be so mean. Anyone would be slow with those short legs. Ah. Oh. Why are two children born to the same mother so different? Mylan only needs to be half of you. Half? I think your expectations are a bit high. Clark laughed as he ruffled my hair and then walked away. I was so used to being laughed at, I didn't feel anything at all. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Do you have a math test today? Don't let me down. I know, I know. I sighed, remembering the last test it wasn't too bad. I got an A. But for my mother, an A was never good enough. She wanted A+. Plus. Clark and I went to the same school. He was only two years older than me, so my mother had more reason to compare us. He was very good, always at the top of the school, and also handsome and tall. Then look at me. My grades were not as good as his, and also I'm shorter. You know, I tried my best. I studied till midnight and worked hard in sports, but I couldn't reach Clark's level. Sometimes, I even thought that Clark got all the good genes from my parents and I just inherited the bad ones. So no matter how much I tried, it was useless. I would never become the child that my mother loved the most. No, Mylan, don't be so negative. You need to concentrate on today's test. When I arrived at school, Clark was the center of attention, <laughs> as usual. Many girls in school liked him very much, and today, there was nothing strange. I tried to squeeze through the crowd, unexpectedly realizing Clark was kneeling in front of a girl. I like you, Ava. Can we date? Oh, I... Um... The girl looked confused. I could understand her feelings right now. The people around were noisy, half of them cheered her on, the other half looked like they wanted to tear her apart if she nodded. So no matter how she responded to Clark, she would still be hated. Suddenly, our eyes met. I swear we don't know each other, but she turned to me and said loudly, Sorry, I already have a boyfriend. This is my boyfriend. What? Uh, uh. The girl pinched my waist, not allowing me to say another word. Clark was shocked, and he pointed at my face. Are you dating Mylan? Really? You chose Mylan out of all the boys in the school? What's wrong with Mylan? He's very cute. But, but... Clark looked incredulous. That was the first time I saw him looking at me like that. It felt really satisfying. <laughs> I immediately jumped at the almost once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to bring Clark down. You give up. She and I have been a couple for a long time. You liar! Enough! Don't bother us anymore, okay? She pushed Clark away and then pulled me towards her. Hey, we've gone far enough. Now can you tell me what's going on? The girl stopped. When it was just the two of us, her face turned red, completely different from her aggressive appearance earlier. I'm sorry for dragging you in between me and Clark. No, you don't need to apologize. I should actually thank you. I finally got to see his painfully defeated face. We laughed together. She <laughs> seemed to hate Clark just as much as I did. I'm Eva, in the same class as Clark. So, you're two years older than me? I'm Mylan, Clark's brother. Huh? Clark's brother? The two are not alike at all? <laughs> I know, everyone says that. I look more like his servant than his brother. 
No, I mean you're much better than Clark. When I say you're cute, I really mean it. Your hair is the color of soft chicken feathers, and your face is gentle. I don't like people who are too tall. Your height makes me much more comfortable to talk to. Now it was my turn to blush. My heart skipped a beat when I realized that Ava wasn't trying to make fun of me. So, thanks to that incident, we actually ended up dating each other. Ava was the coolest girl I had ever met. She was always by my side and used every kind of word to make me happy. She made me realize that I was not as bad as I thought I was. Day by day, I felt more confident in myself, and of course, loved her more. Until one day, I decided to register for the race at the school sports festival. Ava was even more excited than I was, even making a sign to cheer me up. Funny Malin, you can get first place. Let them breathe in the smoke. Oh, she's so cute, isn't she? Ah, I can't stand people in love. With Ava's enthusiastic cheering, I ran with all my might. I quickly climbed to the top, and only a short distance to the finish line. Unfortunately, when I was about to rush to the finish, my shoelaces came loose. I stepped on my shoelace and fell down. I was overtaken by the others. Luckily, I wasn't injured. I quickly got up and ran again, finishing the race in third place. Honestly. Third place was already beyond my expectations. I didn't even dare to participate in any races before, but Ava didn't think so. She angrily rushed to the podium to receive the award and snatched the medal of the second place runner-up. It's you! You shot Marlin, didn't you? I saw your dirty chase with my own eyes. You don't deserve second place. What are you doing, Ava? Ava's actions drew everyone's attention. I was feeling so shy. I pulled her down and tried to explain everything. You got it wrong. My shoelaces were loose. I fell on my own. No one pushed me. Really? But I thought it was a bad guy. Let me go back and apologize to him. So we went together to apologize, and our apology was accepted. But because of this, I began to realize that Ava was always overzealous in matters related to me. She always thought I was number one, and if others were better than me, they must be using some kind of trick. She made me feel cocky and embarrassed at the same time. I was not as good as she thought I was, and that's not the scariest thing about Ava. Once, when we were going out to eat, <laughs> Ava had a stomach ache. She asked me to hold her backpack so she could go to the bathroom urgently. At that moment. A waiter passed by and accidentally dropped the backpack on the ground. Not only me, but the waiter was shocked when he saw the items falling from the bag, because it was full of trash. <gasps> empty water bottles, empty snack bags, empty pens, etc. I think that was the handkerchief I threw away because it was too old, right? Oh my God! I was terrified to realize that. All the trash was once mine. What the hell was Ava thinking? Why did she keep those things? I couldn't bear to ask. As soon as she came back, she looked so embarrassed. Keeping things that used to belong to you has me feel closer to you. I got goosebumps when I heard her explanation. This was hard to accept. I don't like that. Can you throw it all away? No, it's not trash. Everything that belongs to you is precious to me. Ava started crying and begging me. People looked at me like I'd done something terrible. We had a big argument, and then I decided not to see Ava for a while so she could think for herself. After finding out that Ava and I had an argument, Clark was delighted. He wanted to go after Ava again, but of course she ignored him. I was still angry. But soon enough, that argument didn't matter anymore. A week later, when I was on the way to school with Clark, he suddenly stopped in the middle of the road. He looked around. Mylan, I left my things at home. You go first. I didn't think much of it at the time. After walking for a while, I suddenly remembered that I also forgot my phone at home. So I went back to get it. As I was passing an alley, I heard Clark's voice. There's nothing left. 
I didn't bring any money today. So, bring the money here. If not, I'll hit you. Don't. If the injury is in a visible place, other people will notice it. I couldn't believe my eyes anymore. Was the great Clark, my mother's darling, who was always better than me, bullied? How long ago did this happen? Why didn't he tell anyone? Before I could think of a reason, my body acted first. I knew I was short, but that's my brother. Stop now! Release Clark, or I'll call the police. <laughs> Look who it is! Is that your brother, Clark? You idiot! Run away! Don't worry about me! Clark warned me, but it was too late. They surrounded me and threatened me. You want to save your brother, right? All right. From now, you'll be our new target. They weren't joking. From that day, they stopped following Clark and started targeting me. Honestly, I didn't think it was a wise choice because I didn't have any money, and my mother rarely gave me pocket money. If they couldn't get the money, they'd ask me to do all kinds of things, from buying things to copying homework. Gradually understood why Clark didn't tell our mom about the bullying, because he, like me, was too afraid of disappointing her. The bullies didn't hit me, so I thought everything would be fine. They'd get bored quickly and look for another target. But I was wrong. They were just getting more and more outrageous. One day, I was late for school, so I couldn't go shopping for the bullies. When school was over, they came. I didn't know what they were going to do, hit me or splash water on me. Either way, it didn't happen because Ava didn't allow it. She appeared suddenly and stood in front of me. The bullies got a chance to laugh. <laughs> Which mother hen is this? <laughs> you look pretty. You want to hang out with us? Ava was extremely angry. She rushed away and punched the leader hard. I couldn't figure out what was going on when I saw the guy lying on the ground with a black eye. No one is allowed to touch Marlin! Ava shouted, attracting a crowd of people to come and see what was going on. You know, when she was like that before, I was just embarrassed. But now, I was touched. She's so brave. She must love me so much to face those big guys. Not only that, Clark, who always avoided me when I was being bullied, also appeared. He brought our mother with him. Mom called the teacher and the police again, so the bullies were punished and expelled from school immediately. I'm sorry, Mylan. I should have told everyone sooner. I see, you were very brave when you dared to tell Mom the truth. She'll be very disappointed. Don't worry, you won't be alone listening to Mom scold you. Clark and I laughed and he gave me my first ever brotherly hug. You're my brother. We're supposed to help each other, not compete like this. You're not my shadow. You're much braver than me. I'm the one who has to learn from you. It's not too late, Clark. We're gonna be brothers forever. We have a lot of time to mend this relationship. Clark nodded, patting me on the shoulder. He pulled me over to Ava, winked, and left. Um, thank you for protecting me. Ava's eyes were red, and she suddenly cried loudly. I was wrong. I shouldn't have kept that drug. Can we just break up? Wait, don't cry. Who told you we're breaking up? But you haven't talked to me in over a week. That's one week. Calm down. I just wanted you to have time to reflect on your behavior. Really? So I've admitted my mistake? I smiled and kissed Ava on the cheek. I knew my girlfriend had a bit of a weird habit, but she really loved me. Together, we could fix things that weren't right, because Clark, Ava, and I had all the time in the world to help each other become better people.